episode number three, Freshwater. Apparently, this is the only episode that's rated PG, which I find kind of interesting because there's nothing that really makes it stand out compared to the others. All the other episodes are rated G, which kind of makes sense um, given some of the decisions that they decide to do. And this obviously isn't the most graphic show, not that it needs to be. We don't need another Jurassic Fight Club. But this one focuses on freshwater and kind of the effects that it has and how different animals have adapted to freshwater environments and how they've taken advantage of it. I will say in this episode, some of the dinosaurs that they show are kind of influenced by freshwater, but not really. For example, this episode shows a pack of velociraptors hunting a group of unnamed pterosaurs on the side of a cliff right by a waterfall. And David Attenborough narrates saying that the velociraptors are taking advantage of the noise of the waterfall, canceling out the sound of falling rocks, so it allows them to sneak up on the pterosaurs that much easier. And I guess that does apply to freshwater, but at least to me, it felt like it was kind of reaching with that one. Because at least like looking back on desert or coasts, every animal was heavily involved with their environment that that particular episode was focusing on. Whereas this one, most of them were focusing on freshwater like Dinochirus or Quetzalcoatlus. But the Velociraptor one just felt kind of off to me. And same with the T-Rex segment of this episode. It just felt like the T-Rex goes to clean his wound in the river and then like immediately runs into another T-Rex and then they're mating. It just felt like some of them were not as heavily focused on that environmental aspect that that particular episode was focused on compared to the previous two episodes where you look at coasts and deserts and everything was very heavily influenced by it. I think because of that, this episode did feel a little weaker for me compared to the other ones. Maybe just because we didn't get to see as much focus on the freshwater environments and how specific dinosaurs really take advantage of that. Like I love the Dino Kyra segment. I, I just wish it was a little bit longer. Pretty much the clip that's been uploaded to YouTube of it scratching is pretty much the entire segment for Dino Kyrus, which is unfortunate because it is such a cool dinosaur. Actually, it's probably one of my personal favorites. It's like the indie film of dinosaurs where it started off as obscure and now it's pretty popular and famous among dinosaur nerds. I actually remember when they first found it um, in a book that I had, they basically just showed it as like a giant Gallimimus, but now we know that it looks, you know, more like this. But I thought it was really cool to see Dinochirus nonetheless, especially one that looks really good. I'm also thinking of the one from Amazing Dino World, which I think that one looks good, but I like the design of this one a lot more. This one just looks like a uh, paleo art just come to life and I love that about this episode, especially re relating to Dino Kyrus. Another thing that really stood out to me was the return of the T-Rex. And I gotta say as I was watching it, the T-Rex model just looks really good. It just looks like I could actually like touch this animal and feel its like leathery skin. And just every little detail and design choice about the T-Rex, I just mm, love. Quetzalcoatlus had a segment in this episode which was always nice. I love seeing Quetzalcoatlus. It's such a weird idea to imagine this giraffe-sized animal just flying around. And even when walking around, seeing it with this massive 10-foot beak is just so cool. Obviously, you wouldn't want to see one in real life because it would probably make a meal out of you given its size and its predatory behavior found in fossils, but it would still be a sight to see nonetheless. I think it's done really well with the Quetzalcoatlus. It's two females fighting each other for a nest and the older female actually destroyed most of the younger females nest and just kind of ends on there. Another dinosaur that appears is Machingasaurus. I don't know if I'm saying that one. It's the where it's I believe it's the one with weird looking teeth depicted in that one famous paleo art, but that's really uh, done well. As far as I know, I'm pretty sure that was found in Madagascar. They are indeed the same dinosaur that I'm thinking of. And because of that, well, based on the trailers you saw it, but you knew that Bezel Bufo was going to make an appearance. Because if you're in Madagascar, you gotta show the giant frog eating a baby dinosaur. It's basically dinosaur documentary tradition at this point. But it's always cool to see such a monstrosity to imagine this frog so big that it could just eat baby dinos whole. I mean, we already have some big frogs alive today and to imagine something even bigger is just ugh. And then the final segment is Elasmosaurus is swimming in the mangrove and heading towards the brackish water to feed. When it showed the image of them swimming through the mangroves and all the animals on the shore were like looking at them 
It gave me heavy vibes from the Walking with Prehistoric Beast episode where the Basilosaurus is swimming through the mangroves as she searches for food, and you see all the other animals looking and responding to this new animal. It reminded me of that, and I think it was a pretty cool short little segment to end on. Overall, I did not like this episode as much as the other two. It was still good, don't get me wrong, but each segment felt a lot shorter than the other ones. They're probably around the same time, but they felt shorter and it felt like each one could have been a little bit longer or they could have maybe sacrificed one or two in response to giving some more time to one of the other segments. But I, I would have loved to see more of the Dinochirus or even more of the Quetzalcoatlus or the Elasmosaurus, but each one felt a little rushed in order to make more room for one more additional segment. I still like this episode, still solid, still worth a watch, but so far out of the three that this is probably my least favorite. And with that, I uh, end this video. I hope you all have a good day. Stay safe out there. See you later.